स्टूडेंट्स अभी तक जो हम लोगों ने किया है वो अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन में क्या किया हाउ टू फाइंड एंथ टर्म इन अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन सो वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव डन वी हैव सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस ऑफ टू एक्सरसाइजेस 5.1 एंड 5.2 सो अनदर बिट ऑफ द सेम चैप्टर इज हाउ टू फाइंड सम ऑफ एन टर्म्स ऑफ एन एपी वी विल प्रोसीड विद दैट सो वी विल राइट अ जनरल अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन फर्स्ट As we know, if first term of an AP is A and common difference is D, then the AP will be A, A plus D, A plus two D, right, and so on. And nth term will be A plus n minus one D. This we know. And term is like this. Can you tell me what will be the term just before this? अब ये देखो ये T L अपने को एक पहले वाला term चाहिए जैसे है T N is equal to A plus N minus one T. अगर यहाँ N है तो यहाँ भी N है. अगर इसके पहले वाला term चाहिए मिस n माइनस वन टर्म चाहिए सो हम लिखेंगे t n माइनस वन क्या हो जाएगा a प्लस एन माइनस वन माइनस वन डी ये n माइनस वन कौन सा ये वाला माइनस वन एज इट इज दे ए प्लस एन माइनस टू डी मतलब इसके पहले का टर्म क्या हो जाएगा इसके जस्ट बिफोर यहां पर जो टर्म आएगा वो किस तरह से होगा a प्लस एन माइनस टू डी उसके बाद ये टर्म आता है दिस वे दिस विल बी द अरिथमेटिक टूरेशन अभी अपने को सम लेना है फॉर ऑल दीज एन टर्म्स फर्स्ट टर्म एंड दिस एंथ टर्म वी हैव टू फाइंड सम ऑफ दीज टर्म्स सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज लेट द सम इज एस सपोज सम जो है एस सब डिनोट करते हैं हम लिखते हैं ये सभी टर्म्स ए प्लस ए प्लस बी प्लस ऐसा करते हुए हम ये टर्म लिखेंगे ए प्लस एन माइनस टू डी उसके बाद लास्ट टर्म जो है एंथ टर्म दैट इज ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी जैसे एंथ एन टर्म्स ए टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी एन टर्म्स अभी इसी को हम रिवर्स ऑर्डर में लिखेंगे सेम चीज हम रिवर्स ऑर्डर में लिखेंगे दिस इज प्लस ओवर ही रिवर्स ऑर्डर में लिखेंगे तो किस तरह से लिखेंगे लास्ट टर्म जो है वो हम पहले लिखेंगे दैट इज ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी ये पहला टर्म हो गया इसमें प्लस दूसरे की जगह दूसरे नंबर पर ये लिखेंगे दैट इज ए प्लस एन माइनस टू डी प्लस ऐसा करेंगे प्लस सो सेकेंड टर्म विल कम टू दी सेकेंड लास्ट तो यहां ए माइनस डी हो जाएगा ए प्लस डी राइट और प्लस लास्ट टर्म में ए हो जाएगा हमने ऑर्डर चेंज कर दिया तो जो पहला टर्म था उसके नीचे लास्ट टर्म आ जाएगा जो लास्ट टर्म था उसके नीचे पहला टर्म आ जाएगा ठीक है नाउ वी विल एड दीज टू हम दोनों को ऐड करेंगे लेफ्ट हैंड साइड को ऐड करेंगे राइट हैंड साइड को ऐड करेंगे तो इसको ऐड करेंगे तो हम हमारे पास आ जाएगा टू एस अब इसमें ये ऐड करेंगे पहला टर्म पहला टर्म इसको सो ए प्लस ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी तो ए प्लस ए ये हो जाएगा टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी क्लियर अच्छी बात अब इसको इससे एड करेंगे तो यहां भी क्या आ जाएगा ए से ए ऐड हो जाएगा तो टू ए हो जाएगा अब डी एन माइनस टू डी में डी ऐड करेंगे तो ये हो जाएगा एन माइनस वन डी अगेन अब ये कैसे होगा देखो इधर ए प्लस डी प्लस ए प्लस एन माइनस टू डी इसको ऐड करना है तो ये ए जो है ए से ऐड हो जाएगा तो हमको टू ए मिल जाएगा प्लस 
ये d को n माइनस टू डी से एड करना है तो d प्लस एन माइनस टू डी अब ये करेंगे तो क्या हो जाएगा टू ए प्लस इन दोनों में से d कॉमन निकालो तो बचेगा वन प्लस एन माइनस टू इसका मतलब हो जाएगा टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी हमको यहां भी टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी मिलेगा अब यहां पर देखा जाए तो ऊपर है a प्लस एन माइनस टू डी नीचे है a प्लस डी सेम सिचुएशन है यहां पर भी अपनों को क्या मिल जाएगा टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी और लास्ट में देखा जाए तो ये a प्लस एन माइनस वन डी ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी प्लस ए है प्लस ए सेम चीज मिलेगा अपने को टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी सो वी गॉट दिस हम क्या देख रहे हैं टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी एवरी टर्म इन दिस इज टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी अब कितने टर्म्स है इसमें जितने टर्म इसमें है उतने ही टर्म इसमें है तो इसमें कितने टर्म्स है एन टर्म्स है तो इसमें कितने टर्म्स हो जाएंगे एन टर्म्स तो सबको सम करना है तो एन से मल्टीप्लाई कर देंगे तो एन इन टू टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन Therefore, s is equal to two. So divide कर देंगे n by two to a plus n minus one d. This is the sum of n terms of arithmetic progression. Now, this can be written in different way also. How? देखिए s is equal to n by two. हम इसको ऐसे लिख सकते हैं a plus a प्लस एन माइनस वन डी हमने क्या किया टू ए को ए प्लस ए कर दिया सो वट इज दिस दिस इज एंट टर्म मीन्स इट इज टी एन राइट सो दिस कैन फर्दर रिटर्न एज इट इज इक्वल टू एन बाई टू ए प्लस टी एन एस इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस टी एन अगर हम टी एन को एल से डिनोट करते हैं जैसा टेक्स्ट बुक में दिया हम टीएन भी लिख सकते हैं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं इसमें अगर हम इफ टी एन इज इक्वल टू एल नोटेशन ए देते हैं हम सो देर फोर एस इज इक्वल टू एन बाई टू इंटू ए प्लस एल दिस इज अन एदर फॉर्मूला अगर ए डी और एन दिया है तो सम ऑफ एन टर्म्स ऐसे निकाल सकते हैं अगर फर्स्ट टर्म और एंथ टर्म दिया है और नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स दिया है तो वी कैन यूज दिस फॉर्मूला आल्सो। सो इन अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन दो फार्मूले हैं दो फार्मूले के ऊपर नंबर ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स आ गए तो कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स हम लोग सॉल्व कर लेंगे सो so, नया एक्सरसाइज है 5.3। पॉइंट थ्री वी विल स्टार्ट विथ फाइव पॉइंट थ्री एंड वी विल सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम बेसिक कंसेप्ट इज दिस ओनली हाउ टू फाइंड द सम ऑफ एन टर्म्स ऑफ अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन and these are the two formula only which have we have to use and we have to find the sum okay so should we proceed with the exercise okay i will take up exercise 5.3 see exercise 5.3 first question there are uh, four sub parts in question number 1 first two parts are uh, easy ones you can use the formula and this is also सिस्टमेटिकली इफ यू लास्ट टू क्वेश्चन आई हैव टेकन ये थोड़ा सा डेसिमल में है फ्रैक्शन में है बोल करके ये क्वेश्चन हमने ले लिया है ठीक है सो सोल्यूशन अपने को थर्ड क्वेश्चन का सम निकालना है सम ऑफ एंटम्स राइट सम ऑफ एंटम्स इज टू बी फाउंड तो फॉर्मूला क्या है एस इज इक्वल टू टू एन बाई टू टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन डी ये फॉर्मूला अब इसमें फर्स्ट टर्म डी कॉमन डिफरेंस एन इज एन टर्म नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स अब ये सभी चीजें इसमें तो दी गई हैं नहीं दी गई हैं देख करके हमको उसके वैल्यूज लिखने सो ए इज फर्स्ट टर्म फर्स्ट टर्म कितना है ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एन हंड्रेड टर्म्स गिवेन ओवर एन इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड ये भी दिया है common difference so we will find the difference between two successive terms therefore d is equal to 1.7 minus 0.6 that is 
it is one point is one. Now a n and d pata that we can find as therefore s is equal to n by two that is hundred by two two a two into zero point six plus hundred minus one into one point one. That is we can write fifty. There is one point two plus here ninety nine into one point one. That is equal to fifty into one point two plus ninety nine ninety nine plus nine point nine. That is one not eight. One not eight point nine. If you multiply the ninety nine into one ninety nine point one nine point nine ninety nine plus nine point nine is one not eight point nine. That is equal to fifty into. If you add, you will get point one one zero. So if you multiply with this fifty, you will get multiply by ten five five zero five. Therefore, S is equal to five five zero five. This is the answer. This is the third question. We will go for fourth one. Here, if you look at first term is one by fifty. That is a is equal to one by fifteen, and n is equal to eleven. This one, and uh, d is equal to one by twelve minus one by fifteen. If you take LCM of twelve and fifteen, so you can write twelve, fifteen. Take LCM four times, five times. Sixty. Sixty is the LCM of it. So five minus four, that is one by sixty. D is one by sixty. We got. So we can find S. S is equal to this formula n by two. That is eleven by two into two a two into one by fifteen plus eleven minus one into one by sixty. D is one by sixty. So that is equal to eleven by two, two by fifteen plus ten by sixteen. Zero will go. You get eleven by two into two by fifteen plus one by six. So fifteen and six LCM you can take thirty. That is equal to eleven by two into LCM is thirty. So Four times plus five times, right? So eleven by two into nine upon thirty, right? So ten times that is equal to thirty-three by twenty. Therefore, answer S is equal to thirty-three by twenty. This is the answer. So this way, these two problems of question number one, two parts I have done. In question number two, there are three parts. So out of these three parts, I am going to solve two. That is first one and third one. Second one, it is for homework, and I hope you will be doing it. So solution. First part. Here directly sum is given. Plus plus plus. You have to find the addition is given. A plus with plus sign. Even though these are the terms, but they are shown in the form of a series, right? With sign of addition. So first term is this, second term is this, third term is this, and eighty four is the last term, the T N. So what is given? T N is equal to eighty four. Right? First term is given. That is. A is equal to A is equal to seven. 
and we have to find n and d. So first term is this, second term is this, so d can be found out that is 10 1 by 2 minus 7 that is 21 by 2 minus 7 that is equal to 21 minus 14 by 2 that is 7 by 2 means we got therefore d is equal to 7 by 2 so d is known tn is given then we can find n also because a and d both are known therefore we can use the formula tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d tn is given that is 84 therefore 84 is equal to a is 7 plus n minus 1 into 7 by 2 d is 7 by 2 therefore n minus 1 into 7 by 2 is equal to 84 minus 7. This can further be simplified as n minus 1 into 7 by 2 is equal to 77. Right? So this will go 11 times. We will get n minus 1 is equal to 22. Therefore, n is equal to 23. The required terms are known, A is known, D is known, N is known, then we can find sum of N terms. Therefore, S is equal to N by 2, 2A plus N minus 1D. We can use this formula, N is 23, so 23 by 2 into, 2 into A is 7 plus 23 minus 1 into 7 by 2. For the simplification is left that you can do, but still I will do it. That is 23 by 2 into 14 plus, it is 22 into 7 by 2. 2 and 2, 11 times it will go. That is 23 by 2 into 14 plus 77. So 23 by 2 into how much it is 91 it is 91 so answer is 23 into 91 by 2 as is this further simplification you do it by your own and get the answer so understood so I will take up the third problem Series is given. So here A is what? Minus 5. And D we have to find out. That is second term is minus 8. Minus minus 5. This, this minus this I have done. That is minus 8 plus 5. That is equal to minus 3. Therefore D is equal to minus 3. That we got. A is known. D is known. We want N. As in, I have done the previous case, Tn. Here Tn is also given. That is minus 2. So we use the formula. Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1D. Therefore, Tn is minus 230. So we will write minus 230 is equal to A is minus 5 plus N minus 1 into minus 3. D is minus 3. So with this equation, we can find N. So how, how will we do? So minus 230 plus 5. Transfer this in this side. That is minus n minus 1 into 3. The minus n I have taken out. It is 230 in fact. Therefore it is minus 225 is equal to minus n minus 1 into 3. You can interchange the position. You can take it this side or this side or you multiply by minus 1 either way. So, n minus 1 into 3 is equal to 2, 2, 5. Therefore, n minus 1 is equal to 2, 2, 5 by 3. So, it will be 75. Therefore, n is equal to 76. So, we got n also. If all the quantities are known, then we can find the sum of all these terms. 
So S is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1t. This formula we are going to use. So n is equal to 76. So 76 by 2 into 2 into a is minus 5 plus 76 minus 1 into d is minus 3. Only simplification is left. That is 76 by 2 into that is how much it is minus 10 plus in fact minus or plus I will write minus over here right that is uh, 75 into 3 so further simplification 76 by 2 into minus 10 minus 225 this is minus sign we will take out that is 76 by 2 into 235, isn't it? Minus here 225 into 10. So that is answer is 76. Means okay, we will simplify this over here. 38. That is minus 38 into 235. This is the sum, and you multiply and get the answer. This will be the answer. So in this question, question number 3, number of parts are there in this, right? And different quantities are required to be found out. Is may se kuch hum aaj karte hain, kuch baad mein karenge. And jo easy hai, jahaan par aap khud kar sakte hain, aise questions ko hum chhod dhenge, aise parts ko. And that will be as homework for you. Okay? So, uh, first, second and fourth, teen part hum dete hain aapar. पहला पार्ट जो है ऐसा प्रॉब्लम हमने जस्ट इसके पहले सॉल्व किया है सो so, आप कर सकते हैं फिर भी हम उसको अटेम्प्ट कर लेते हैं तो फर्स्ट पार्ट a is given a is equal to 5 d is equal to 3 and uh, a n is equal to 50 a n means nth term means it is just like t n a n is equal to 50 means it is t n in short find n n s n तो अब जो a और d पता है अगर n मालूम हो जाए तो हम सम का फार्मूला यूज कर सकते हैं तो इट इज tn इज गिवन सो वी नो द फार्मूला tn is equal to what a plus n minus 1 d दैट वी नो एंड दिस इज सेम एज इट इज tn ओनली बिकॉज़ nth टर्म इज गिवन देयरफॉर 50 is equal to a is 5 plus n minus 1 into d is 3 Therefore, uh, n minus 1 into 3 is equal to 50 minus 5 that is equal to 45. Therefore, n minus 1 is equal to 45 by 3 is equal to 15. Right? Therefore, n is equal to 60. So, n bhi maanum ho gaya. A pata hai, D pata hai. So, we can find Sn. So, Sn is equal to n by 2. 2a plus n minus 1d. So n is 16, 16 by 2 into 2a. So 2 into 5 plus 16 minus 1 into 3. For the simplification you can do, still one, one or two steps I will do over here. So that will be 8 into, this is what, 10 plus 15 into 3. So 8 into 10 plus 45 that is 55 so s is equal to this so you can multiply and get the answer 85 440 sum is for 440 that is s n simply right so we will go for the second one what is given a is equal to 7 and a 13 is equal to 35 so a 13 means n is equal to 30. It is given. And find D and Sn. So A, A 30 means it is T 30. A 30 means T 30. So this is nothing but T 30. Nth term is it is 13th term. So we can use the formula T 13 is equal to A plus 13 minus 1D. 
T30 means here it will be 30. So therefore, T13 is 35. So 35 is equal to A7 plus 30, it is 12D. Therefore, 12D is equal to 35 minus 7. So how much it is? 8. Therefore, D is equal to 28 by 12. So, 4, 3 is a 4, 7. That is 7 by 3. Therefore, D is equal to 7 by 3. See, D is known, A is known, N13, and we want S13 is equal to what? S13. Right? So, we will get S13 is equal to, N is 13. So, 13 by 2 into 2A, 2 into A is 7, plus 13 minus 1 into D is 7 by 3. Only simplification is left, that is 13 by 2 into, this will be 14 plus 12 into 7 by 3. So, 3, 4, that will go. That is 13 by 2 into 14 plus 28, right? That is 13 by 2 plus, if you add, you will get into 42. So it will go 21 times, that is 13 into 21, that is S13. If you multiply, you will get the answer, therefore S 13 is equal to 273. This is the answer. Now, in question number 4, what is given? A3 is given, that is 15. S10 is given, that is 125. And we have to find D and A10. The suffix written over here means A3 means it is third term. It is T3. A3 means it is T3. S10 means sum of 10 terms. What is required? D is what? And A10 is what? A10 means it is T10. Correlate with the formula which you are having. So T3 is given 15. S10 is given 125. S10 means it is N is 10. So C for formula is S is equal to uh, N by 2, 2A plus N minus 1D. This formula is for sum of how many terms? N terms. So we will denote this as it is SN. This N denotes the number of terms. S10 means there are 10 terms. So this is the sum of 10 terms of this AP. Finally, it will become an AP. Therefore, S10 is given, that is 125. So I will write 125. In place of it, we will write 10. So 10 by 2, right? Here, A is not known because it is A3, not A1. So first term is not known. So you write 2A plus 10 minus 1 into D. So you will get one equation in uh, A and D. So we can write that is equal to. So 5, 2, ja, this 20, and as this 2 and 2 will go. Therefore, 2A plus 9D is equal to 25. This is first equation. Right? Second, A3 is given. Means T3 is given. So, T3 is equal to A plus 3 minus 1 into D. T3 is A3. That is 15. Therefore, 15 is equal to A plus 2D. Or, we can write A plus 2D that is equal to 15. This is equation number 2. So, we have got two equations, 2A plus 9D and A plus 2D. 
with the help of this equation right and we can find a and d from 1 and 2 it can be written as a plus 2d is equal to 15 and this one that is 2a plus 9d is equal to 25. Eliminate one and get the another variable. So if I multiply both the sides by 2 in equation number 1, so this will become 2 into this or uh, into 2. There will not be any effect in the equation. Now we will subtract sign will get changed minus and minus it will become 2a minus 2a so this will go here it is 4d 4d minus 9d 4d minus 9d that is minus 5d that is equal to it is 30 minus 25 right that is 5 therefore d is equal to minus 1 we got D and if D is known, we can find the first term from 2, from 2, A plus 2D, therefore A plus 2D that is equal to 15, therefore A plus 2 into minus 1 that is equal to 15, therefore A is equal to 15 plus 2 that is 17. A is equal to 70. So we got A, we got D and we have D is known. We got D is equal to minus 1. A 10 we have to find. So A 10 is equal to A plus 10 minus 1 D. A 10 is equal to A is, we got A is 17 plus that is 9 simply 9 into t is minus 1 that is 17 minus 9 that is 8 therefore a 10 is equal to 8 we got d d was required so finally d is, is equal to minus 1 and this is a 10 is equal to 8 so this way we got the solution of this question. So we will take up some more problems when we interact next time. So till then, attempt the remaining questions, try to solve it by your own and uh, whichever question you are not able to solve. As a matter of fact, I am going to take crystal the questions over here. But if you attempt by your own, and uh, whether you are able to do or not, it is immaterial. I, I wish that you should try the problems by your own and you should solve it by your own. If not, then my video you see and you will get the solution of all the questions. Okay, systematically. So till then, all the best. Take care of you and be healthy.